Oh, nothing. Um... No, it wasn't nothing. Well, you know how I, how I feel about Colby. I, I misspoke. No, I don't think you did. I think you told the truth the only way you know how, which is by accident. Oh, Lyons, that don't make too much of this. I was talking about Colby's stem cells, but you were talking about something different. You were talking about something huge. Can we just drop that subject, this subject? Colby's stem cells are intact. If, and God forbid, if she ever needs them, we should be grateful. I was driving home from the lab, and I was thinking, why would Adam care? Stand in the way of the transfer of her cells. Because the cells belong to Colby. The cells were not to protect Colby. You were trying to protect yourself. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Is that the truth? You knew that the lab would run a DNA test and it would prove that Colby is Jake's daughter. That Colby is your daughter. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Damn it. Colby is no part of Jake Martin. No, I am her father. Colby is ours, our flesh and blood. Yours and mine. Colby's father. Is, is that the truth? Yes. I made it happen. I had to. Because I love you. Liza, you'd cut me out of your life. You were, you were going to have a child without me. You were going to have artificial insemination. But I knew that I could get you back. And then I was right. Jake was the donor. So you switched the samples? How did you manage that? I, I bought the damn fertility clinic and switched samples with him. Liza, we deserved a second chance. After our child died, we earned the right to start over. Start over with a lie? I... I ached to tell you the truth. I, I, I guess you did. Ah, uh, Colby, I am a father to Colby in more ways than... You did. How many times did you tell me that? You don't, you don't have no idea what it cost me to keep that secret. Being elbowed aside by the fetuous Jake Martin the day Colby was born and watching him put his name on a birth certificate and taking, claiming all of the rights and privileges that belong to me. If it was so painful, why didn't you tell the truth? I tried to. I, on, several times I sounded you out. Yes, you did. Yes. I, I, I would say, wouldn't you, wouldn't you like it if I were Colby's biological father? And you know what you said every time? You said yes. It gave me the courage to think that maybe someday you'd understand what I did and thank me. Thank you. Yes. Liza, every dream we've had is true. It's coming true. We are husband and wife. We have a beautiful child and we have a limitless horizon. And I did it. I gave us our daughter. Because I never for one minute lost sight of us. Liza, I am the one who is constant in all this. I never wavered in my love for you. I gave us Colby as a promise for the future. And the waiting has been hell. But it was worth it, because I knew that when the truth came out, when you realized what I had done and why I had done it, then we could start the life that we both want. That we all three want. Just the three of us.
killing. Celebrate a year's worth of deception. Liza, we deserve this happiness. It's built on the shoulders and the hearts of other people. Me and, and, and Jake. And Ruth and Joe and, and my mother. You sat back while we lived out your master plan. Jake is Colby's father. It will rip his heart out. That should make me happy. What about my heart? How do you feel about that? Is that this is the most despicable thing? All I did was force the inevitable. You and Colby are my destiny. Oh, Jake's destiny. And Ruth and, and Joe. And my mother. They fell in love with her. And, and you knew. You knew it would destroy them. Oh, come on. They'll get over it. Jake will meet somebody. Let, let him start his own bloody family. Colby is his family. No, not from this moment on. No. This is the day I declare my independence. Jake has no more say in the matter. He doesn't call the shots. If I want to indulge Colby's sweet tooth or take her out after, after her bedtime, then that's my call. No more Jake. Oh, I am. Are you enjoying this? Yeah, I think I am. Because deep down in my heart, I know that what I did was right for you and me and Colby. You get to decide that by yourself. At the time, I had no choice. I know that this is a shock to you, but remember the dream that we shared? This is it. This is that dream. It has come to life. The family we want, the life we want. Where is the crime in that? You don't see? No, I, what I see is that I love you more than I've ever loved any other woman. And I have endured more. Because I knew that whatever I suffered at the hands of Jake Martin was temporary because heaven was close at hand. Liza, I'm, I'm, I'm not a perfect person, you know that. You've known that for a long time. But you have been the saving grace, your love, the saving grace in my life. I love you imperfectly, but madly and completely. And you love me too. And it is, it is out of that love, the love that we have for each other and for Colby, that I believe you'll forgive me. You do forgive me, don't you? No, Adam. There's no one like you. You're really a true original. Oh, no, no, no. There are two of us. We both know what we want, and we both know how to make it happen. True. I, we set goals, and I've plowed over people, and... I regret that I've done it. It's not what I want for Colby. Honey, you're a, you're a mother now. So naturally, you're more cautious. Naturally, you're more deceitful. How many times did you ponder this? Think about it while you were in the office. All these lies that have brought you to this marvelous point. Darling, you're not seeing the big picture. No, I... I, I no picture. I, I was thinking about the future, and, and you were manipulating things in the past, in, in the present, so that they would be the way that you wanted. And the thing is, you're not even sorry. You're actually, you're actually happy. You, you think of yourself as, as, as a hero. No, no. I just got us where we both wanted to go. No, you, you can't justify all of this in the name of love. 
there are other people's feelings to consider. There's, there's Jake and Ruth and Joe and, and my, my mother. There, aren't there feelings worth considering? Only after I've made things right for my wife and my daughter. I believed you. I, I trusted you. That you had changed. That you convinced me that you had accepted Jake as Colby's father. I believed that you were sincere. I didn't see any cracks. Sweetheart, not there are no cracks in my love for you. It's solid and real. I have been true to you always. No. You did this for you. You did this for your own selfish reasons. I took you back. And I loved you more each passing day. I believe that you had changed, that you had sacrificed your ego and your need to control things for, for, for tenderness and, and kindness. And I believed you. I believed the worst lie of all, that you loved me. That my love for you is real. It's not a lie. I love you with all my heart. Adam, you don't have a heart. You don't care about anybody but yourself. Liza, my love for you is not a lie. Everything you do is a lie. You, you don't do anything out of love. You impregnated me without my consent, Adam. Yes. What's done is done. Colby is a reality. She's our greatest joy. Doesn't that count for something? Junior's a reality. You had a, a a child with Dixie without Brooke's knowledge. Brooke divorced you. Should I be any more understanding? But that's hardly the same kind of situation. I never cheated on you. No, you cheated yourself. And Junior. And he has a father now, Tad. He, he has this father who loves him just the way he is. A father who doesn't need a clone of himself to make him feel immortal. <laughs> But that's what you wanted. You wanted someone for you. Where you could rebuild the world to your specifics, and so you made a decision. You sowed a seed inside of me, and I carried your child for nine months. And I labored that child into the world. And I loved that child, and I nurtured that child. And it's your child. And you got everything you ever wanted, and you didn't have to love me. You used me the way you used Dixie to breed a child in your own image. Liza, do your worst. I'll take your anger, even your rage. But don't you, for one minute, doubt that I love you. What you did to me had nothing to do with love. You raped me.